Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Cav, and I am Michael, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. Can you see me okay? Uh, all right, so uh, I'm looking at uh, my computer right now, and it looks like you have completed an integrated speaking practice test 20 along with a syllable division pretest. All right, so let's go ahead and get, let's take care of the integrated practice test first. And remember, only send me one each day. That means you can only send me one pronunciation or one speaking. And I think that's what you've been doing. And you've been working me hard. And uh, I'm happy though, because if you're, explains that you're very serious about your study, no doubt. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get. All right, so let's listen to your integrated speaking practice the test. Professor explains the three theories of Torrendo formation. In the same way, the first one is thunderstorms, which are formed by the vertical wind always rotate into environment to form storms. We'll say rotated, and then the T and the D sounds. These two sounds are killing you. You really need to practice those two sounds. As per Professor, the second theory is the bottom-down theory. Okay. It states that horizontal circulation forms along with cool descending air okay. collides with warm moist ascending air. All right. Result as the warm moist air is top of the cooler air. So the opposite direction of wind to form torrentos. Finally, the third theory is landscape. I like your use of the transition word, finally. These are generated by a sharp change in wind speed, create a horizontal wind, which has become strong enough to stretch, stretch for torrendo formation. These storms are weaker and cause less damage. Okay, so I, I think overall, I'm not sure that you got all of the most important points there. So I think some minor difficulties with topic development. I think maybe some minor problems with language use and a lot of trouble with delivery. So you're still working on trying to speak naturally, varying your tone. You're speaking with a pretty heavy non-native speaker accent. So the only thing that's really going to make a big difference there is you want to really surround I think yourself right now with a lot of English. That means watching movies, talking with native speakers, listening to music. Uh, do Get a lot of listening into your brain right now and then speak a lot. And that's definitely really good. Your score here, I'm gonna put you at about, uh, I'm gonna put you about 2.3 out of four, 18 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. All right, so now we need to go to your pretest. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go to my website so I can look at the pretest as you complete it. Okay, give me just a second right now. Let's see what we have. Type in my password and username, just like everybody else. Got it. So I'm going to go to the pronunciation section of my course. Okay, here we go. And we are here. So you did the second pretest, I believe, right? All right, now I'm going to download your second file. See, if you could do this at Voxypop, I'm telling you, it, it, it takes me like three times longer to do all these downloads and these videos I have to send you, and it really takes a lot of time. But I know Voxypop is a little bit difficult. You have to kind of figure out how to configure it on your own computer. And every computer is different. So it doesn't work the same on every laptop, that's for sure. Okay. Act. Act 
एक्टिव एक्टिवली एक्टिविटी कंपीट कंपीटेड कंपीटेटिव कंपीटेटिवली ह्यूमिड ह्यूमिडिफाई ह्यूमिडिफाइड डीह्यूमिडिफाइड बजेट बजेटेड बजेटरी ओके marriage patterns in rural turkey are noticeably influenced by endogamous preferences within both villages and kinship groups okay so far not bad you're i'm i'm testing right now to see if you can pronounce your grammatical word ending so you're doing it pe pez part parts But the P, you're not pronouncing the P with enough air. Pay, pays, pot, pots. Think of it like this: If you put a piece of paper up to your mouth right now and you say the word pay, does the paper do this? Pay, pot. You're saying bay, bay, bay. I'm saying pay. So it's a lot more air than what you're doing. If you could put more air out, that would help you probably with your p. It would help you to differentiate your p from your b consonant, and then you have the t tip, tip, the t versus the d. If I say tip, I say tip, tip. If I say dip, dip. I don't pronounce. There's not as much air coming out of my mouth with the d. Okay. Saved, judged, sorted, shifted, planted, circumstances. Okay, you're exaggerating the sounds a little bit, but you're you're trying to make an effort to pronounce those eds. So I can appreciate that. Conditioning, associate, techniques, discussion, resurrected. Okay. Consecutive. Dysfunctional. All right. Retreat. Positive. Classical. Religious. Religious. Harmony. Provide. A conditioner. Class cleaner. Myself. themselves good 13 30 14 you say thir 13 30 so with the th just remember the the th 13 30 you know you've been practicing i can tell i really can tell you've been practicing 40 15 50 16 17 Seventy, eighteen, eighty, nineteen, nineteen. I still think you're. You need to work on those numbers of ten versus numbers of ten. So I, I still think you need practice with less than thirty. Focus on the numbers. So let me just go over them with you. Thirteen, thirty, fourteen, forty, fifteen, fifty, sixteen, sixty. Seventeen seventy, eighteen eighty, nineteen ninety. Downwind, outdoors. Okay. Break into, take out. All right. The conduct of the conductor was inappropriate. I'm going to say there the conduct. So on that on the noun there, the conduct of the conductor was inappropriate. You want to put stress in the first syllable there. She objected to being an object of his affection. Good. Disrespect, inner lock, 
Out base. No, I think you need to disrespect, interlock, outpace. So usually with these compound nouns that we have here, you put stress on that second word, not the first word. So I think you can work a little bit more on word stress, lesson 31. USA, DPA, CEO, academic, analytical, okay. diversity, 45, cardiology, All right. discussion, geography, cautious, Canadian, chronological. It's chronological on that one, so chronological. Absentee, overseas, Vietnamese. Picturesque. Nice. Perfect. Technique. Good. Corvette. It's just Corvette. So remember, so with the stress syllable, longer, louder, clearer, and higher pitched. Educate. Education. Motivate. Motivation, operate, operation, overrated, he ate it, position, he fixed it, assume, approve, cool bike, cool biker, okay, coolest biker. The player left the game in the fourth quarter. Mr. Jones is grading his papers today. Can you give me a burger with cheese? Good. You're actually trying to vary your intonation there. That's you. good. How's your homework coming along? So can go to the store? So can go to the store. This is causing you trouble. Watch out. So you have can go, can't go, so Sue can go to the store. So when it's positive, you have to put more stress in the main verb. When that modal is negative, you put stress on the modal and the main verb. So compare. Sue can go to the store. Sue can't go to the store. She can run the whole distance. She can run the whole distance. She was at his house yesterday. She wasn't at his house yesterday. Jane could talk to the other workers. Not Jane could talk. Jane could talk. Could talk to the other workers. So again, that T sound, I'm going to get you with that one eventually. But here's the problem is, it's very possible, I'm not sure where your first language is, but I'm guessing that the T sound in English does not exist in your own language. And that's why you're pronouncing it more as a D, because that's a consonant that you're actually familiar with in your own language. Am I right? All right, let's keep going. Jen couldn't talk to the other workers. Did Jan go to the game last week? Jan went to the game yesterday. You're getting there. You're putting more stress on yesterday, which is what you want to do, but you have to do more than that. So did John go to the game last week? John went to the game yesterday. So you have to change your pitch a little bit also and pronounce it with a little more stress. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Nice. Almost, but still you're having some trouble with your tone. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? So you have to change that intonation a little bit more. What are you working on? I'm working on a composition. But it's composition. Stress on the third syllable, not the second. What kind of composition? It's a history composition. 
when it is due it is due friday morning okay you you understand the idea of what's called sentence focus but still the pitch so what are you working on i'm working on a composition what kind of composition it's a history composition when is it due it is due friday morning so you still have to work on varying your pitch a little bit more that intonation that is the key i think to unlocking your ability to speak more like a native speaker there is an advantage and a disadvantage to your idea speak it so i would say there is an advantage any disadvantage to your idea so with the, when you have a or b on the first item the tone rises a lot there is an advantage any disadvantage to your idea a. did she go on a vacation in the summer speaker b it was the winter when she went on vacation okay speaker a that was a great movie speaker b i will say it was it was good again more intonation issues so here i would say that was a great movie i'll say it was good speaker a why didn't you return the book to the library speaker b you are wrong i did return the book to the library nice focus i like it but still the pitch so you're wrong i did return the book to the library act active actively she spoke with you jan went to the game yesterday it is due friday morning i don't know i got to go back speaker b it was the winter when she went on work i will say it was okay here we go good speaker a why didn't you return the book to the library speaker b you are wrong i did return the book to the library i did return the book okay now let's go back to the email that you sent me we have one more i don't need to listen really to all those questions that you answer but i'm going to listen to the the rest of the pretest at least in this video here so let me comment on that lesson 39 i like apples bananas orange okay let me make sure i'm not going to run out of time in my video here hold on a minute okay so let's go to lesson number 39 lesson 39 i like apples bananas oranges lemons and grapes okay And I'll do a little bit rising. I like apples, bananas, oranges, lemons, and grapes. Speaker A. She has 12 members in her family. Speaker B. She has 12 members. Almost. She has 12 she has 12 mem she has 12 members. She has 12 members. So you have to show that emphatic expression of surprise. You're putting the stress on the right parts of the sentence. It's that intonation change that you're having trouble with more. Speaker A. My phone number is 8889002. No one say 8889002. Speaker B. Did you say 8889 900 No no it's 888 not yet you're pronouncing the 8 with a y in there don't want to do that so 8888 Lesson 40 I want to leave journey I want to leave journey So you might want to say I want to leave Johnny or I want to leave Johnny so you're speaking to Johnny 
So the second one will be a little bit different than the first. So let's say that one more time. It's kind of complicated. I want to leave Johnny. I want to leave Johnny. Speaker A. I'm going to the United States. Okay. Speaker B. Where? Excuse me. Where are you going? Speaker A. I'm going to the United States. Speaker B. Where? What city in the United States will you go to? Lesson 41. Okay. 23 foot long sticks. 23 foot long sticks. Good. Where are you going? I'm going to Los Angeles. Wait, I'm going to Los Angeles. Nice. Lesson 42. Bobby Thompson, who lives in my neighborhood, is coming to visit tomorrow. Now that's where you're having trouble again with thought groups. The thought group that precedes a final thought group, the tone needs to rise a little bit. So you'll say Bobby Thompson, who is in my neighborhood, is coming to visit tomorrow. Then you drop your tone a little bit. Very ordinary looking. Vampire bats weigh about one, one ounce and have a body. Size of an adult's thumb. Okay. Lesson 43. Sir Francis Golden, a cousin of Charles Darwin, was interested in the measuring of intelligence because he wanted to increase it through selective breeding. Okay. Can you hold up the painting for me? I would a light sweater to the football game. Maybe you should ask Kenneth. He may know the answer. Okay. Part to pay. Now this part I'm not going to worry about too much for right now. So, based on the pretest that you took, uh, I recommend you go through all of my lessons, all pronunciation lessons, but here are the ones you want to focus on the most. Lesson number 30, 31, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43, and 44. The big thing for you, you already know this, is intonation. This is where you need to really make your improvements. This is going to make the most change in your pronunciation. As you learn to vary your intonation more, you will begin to speak more naturally. All right, thank you for completing the pretest.